Hey guys, this is Andrew and uh, from REI Live Columbia and Columbia Cash Home Buyers. I wanted to show you a couple of tools that we love to use. Uh, hopefully, it'll help you in your uh, real estate business, whether it's wholesaling, flipping, if you do burr strategy, or you're just a real estate agent, or uh, you know um, someone that works in the business in that sort of fashion. This tool is phenomenal, and everyone can use it. Um, we use it every single day in our business. Uh, we are uh, buying homes, wholesale, wholesaling them out. We're flipping houses. We're holding on to rentals. Uh, we use this every single day uh, based on different things, getting data, running comps, you name it. Uh, this is fen a phenomenal piece of uh, software. The guys who created it worked years on it, and uh, I'm so glad they sold it out to everyone else so that we could partake. So uh, REI Live Columbia, if you don't know what that is, that is our uh, real estate networking and education event that we do uh, once a month. We have the main event um, at a hotel at the courtyard. And then a couple of times a month, we get together in smaller, uh, more intimate settings with masterminds and workshops. So that's us in Columbia, South Carolina. Hopefully this can help you anywhere you are. So. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. We'll get to these and we'll help you out as much as we can. Uh, I'll also put the link in here for you to use it. But um, this software is PropStream. If you guys haven't heard of it, this here is our um, REI Live discount. You do get a discount, free trial. Just follow this web address if you want to do it. If you want to give it a shot, mine as well. Um, and I'll show you kind of how we do it here. So main things that we use prop string for uh there's a few first is pulling lists uh many of you know south carolina is a uh, i don't know what they would call us but you can't get a list from list source anymore so it got a little bit more difficult to pull lists this has those lists this has the data uh, and i'll show you how to pull that uh, we also use this for running comps if we're going to flip a house if we're potentially want to buy a house um, or if we're making an offer on a house, we can use this to pull comps and data. Another thing we'll do with this uh, software is to look up status of a property, foreclosure, bankruptcy, uh, mortgages, potential uh, ownership issues, uh, all that we can find here. So this is phenomenal. And you actually can go and skip trace through here. We've done that too. I'll show you that. Uh, so phenomenal piece of software. Uh, you can also do marketing through here. But I'm going to run through all that for you. If you have questions, um, let me know. This is going to be probably 10 minutes, so I'm not going to do everything. Uh, there's plenty of other things you can do in this software, but I'm going to try to get through a good bit of it for you. Okay. So hopefully you can see the um, software, the, the screen there, and then I'm going to keep rolling here. So we're in Columbia, South Carolina. So easy. Look. It's like, what? How does this work so easy? Uh, Columbia, South Carolina, it already comes, this software comes preloaded with these cool fast buttons here. And these fast buttons essentially filter the data for you based on that, that button. So right now, if I want to see how many properties are listed on the MLS, bam, it's right there. Pre-foreclosure, bam. So I'm going to get into how you filter here in just a second, but just know these are already preloaded and you can switch them up if you want. So easy thing to do is I'm going to start with MLS. How do they come with that data, right? How do they figure it out? How can you narrow that data down? This filter button here. This is how all these other quick links up there are, are created uh, by using these and saving. So my search for MLS, all it is is quick list search on market. So here's owner occupied status, any, does it matter? This is the name of it. Property characteristics, everything. Here's where I get to your MLS status. I hope you can see that. Um, MLS status on market, yes. And all. I mean, everything else is going to be just blank, nothing you got to worry about. So look, uh, let me close this. How many properties? 1581. And here they all are.
I don't really need that. If you're an agent, you can certainly use this. Uh, if you're looking to buy a house, you can certainly use this. That's something I didn't necessarily need to jump on. But pre foreclosures is. And a lot of people starting out in wholesaling, they want to know how do I get the best bang for my buck? What list? What? Who should I target? Who should I go after? I don't have a lot of marketing money. I, I really just want to text blast or cold call because I don't have a ton of money to, to use on postcards or um, other marketing means. So pre foreclosures is one of those. It's a hot list. People have missed payments and they're going into foreclosure. They're heading that direction. So this already shows you there's 950 in Columbia, South Carolina that are in this. Look, it even shows you, you can like click them and I'll do that in a minute, but um, 950. So what do we want to do? If I really want to drill this down and I want to make sure that I'm, I can only cold call, right? Well, let's filter this. Let's make it as hot of a list as possible. If they are going into foreclosure and they live in the house, they're probably going to fight harder for it, right? The, they, they don't want to get moved out and it's harder for the bank to foreclose. It, it's a lot more effort there. What if it's pre foreclosure and it's vacant? That would be a hot list. All right, so vacant pre foreclosure. These are people who have a vacant house that's probably beat up and now they've missed payments. You think that they are motivated to sell? Probably. There's only 51 of them in Columbia. Now we can make, obviously, we can make a broader market. We can bring in Lexington or wherever you are, just make your cities or counties, or whatever. But these are properties that are in desperate need. They will be going, move my face over here, auction date a couple days ago. Who knows? These could have sold just a few days ago. This auction is scheduled for next month. Um, they got their uh, Liz pendants a month ago. Guys, these are hot, hot, hot. It's time for someone to call them. And they've probably been called by other people or um, been marketed to if we're doing our jobs as wholesalers. But this is where you should start. And I'm just going to grab one. I actually know that property. Uh, I know this one too. Let's grab this one. So this software is, like I said, incredible. It gives you so much data. Uh, it actually has pictures. I wanted to click and go through the pictures. These are pictures that somebody put, the agent probably put for the auction site. Um, Move my face over again. Let's get that out of here. Property details. Who owns it? You know that the bank already owns this one. So this has already been foreclosed. We aren't going to be able to call them and try to buy it. So it's probably a bad example, but we'll keep going. Um, but this shows us that it's already been foreclosed. Uh, it gives us our square feet, um, tax data, Actually, will tell you who the last owner before that was, um, Higgins. So this, the bank took it over on 120. We were just too late, just too late. Oh wait, not here. Sale date 113 for 2500. That's what the bank got it for. Um, hmm, too bad we didn't look at this before. So you got cash sale data tells it exactly because bank was cash sale um, pre foreclosure had we been here we could have got all this info prior to and MLS data so they listed it on the market on the 14th and it's actually pending for sale they were selling it at 40 guys this is, this is such good info this is such good stuff all in the same spot um, mortgage history it tells you when they got a mortgage um, I don't care about tax info as much, but it can tell you. Here's another piece of it, the comps. So let me just show you how we can comp a property. We're in a property, guys. You could do this with every single property. All of these things are there. Uh, right now, it pulled properties within a half mile radius, square feet. I think it goes up and down 200 each or 250, something like that. Um, one year sale date range and then all these other things you can 
change if you want it to be bedroom specific that kind of thing and it's going to tell us average sales price 92 price per square foot is 90. that's the price per square foot is what the appraiser will use so that's what i would use to get my comp on this house if it's 90 and square footage is 960 gives us a $86,000 ARV. That's just using the comps. We don't know if these houses were uh, rehabbed or not, but the beauty of this software is, is look, uh, we know that this house sold at, scroll down, if we go over uh, price per square foot. This one was five dollars. Let's just kick it out. Okay, get rid of it because we know that's that's just messing us up. So now we're up at 96. Um, 123, 83. Everything else seems to be in line. Let's get rid of this $35 per square foot. Probably should get rid of this 134 per square foot. And I'm just using intuition right now, just getting the real things that are really high or really low. It gives us back to a hundred dollars square foot. Now, let's see if these things are rehabbed. Um, and we can also get rid of them based on. So this is our location. If we know that this area over here is super hot, like thirteen is, um, let's get rid of it. We know that, that should this should not be in this comp. Okay, it's across the street. It's across the main road. It turns it into a totally different um, area. These over here should be on our comp list. It's super easy and it's just, it's automatically adjusting the info for us. I know I could take out number 10 for sure. Guys, look, it adjusts back now. It's so easy. We just keep doing that. But now look at the pictures. Move my head again. Was this a rehab house? Yeah, that's not bad. Did I count this as a flip? No. If I was going to flip this property, this is not as high quality as mine would be. Um, let's check this one. This is pretty high quality, at least picture wise. Yeah. So I would count this as a comp for my flip for my ARV. Yeah, sure. That's so simple. It's all right here. It's all right here. All right. So that's comp and properties. And let's go back to where we were. Oop, back up. So we went and we drilled down on four, pre foreclosures, 51 of them. Now you ask me, okay, look, I remember you said um, I, I'm new and I don't have a whole lot of money, so I, I need to figure out how to get a hold of these people. I want to call them, right? This is the beauty of it. Now I can't do it because I actually, it'll take a minute. I'm not going to add these, but all you would do. Let's add all these, add to a list. Um, I've actually reached my limits. <laughs> I, I went through and did a whole new list yesterday. So of course I reached my limit, but you would add it to a list and then you would come over here and skip tracing. It's a little bit more expensive than our batch skip tracing. If you do batch skip tracing.com uh, coupon code skip, uh, it's a little bit, it's, cheaper than this, but this is really easy and really simple. And it's all in one place. It's if you're only doing like 50 of them, hundred or a couple hundred, really your pennies is what it would save you per. It's really nice just to have it all in one place. So let's just say I want phone numbers. I'll select the contacts of who I want. I'd put it into a group. So this is one. These are people that I actually want to call. I don't know if I should have their name and phone number up there, but these are people that we want to call because they own property right next to something we'd like to um, enlarge to make bigger. So we want to try to buy the, some of these properties. So I've actually skip traced, found their phone numbers and called them. You would do the exactly same thing with that group of 51. You just enter it in. So I would just click all these and then click done. And then it's going to do it and select all contacts you wish to get and then hit next which i've already done all those so it's not gonna let me do it but you select contacts and then do those so 
Um, it's so easy. It gives you everything you want right there. If you want, if you're new and you're, you're just trying to get, you know, a couple call, phone calls in, you want to call some people. This is easy to do. So simple. All right. That is skip tracing. We, um, every time I do that, move that out of the way. All right. So the last bit um, that I want to go over is the uh, way that you can just filter anything and everything. And that's this button here. Um, I guess I just had it on, but pre foreclosures. Let's close, re clear all. I'll go back to Columbia filter and you can do whatever you want. If you want to do vacant in Columbia, everything that's vacant in Columbia, it's going to give you everything over here. 4,000, 4,100 properties. You can market to all those. Um, if you just want to do, uh, owner, I mean, absentee owner, 54,000 properties. You can market to all those. You can, um, absentee and vacant. That brings it down to 3,200. Uh, let's see. What if we want to see if they have a lien? Any lien type? Say anybody that has a mechanics lien or a tax lien. There's eight people. There's eight people that might want to sell today. So you can you can skip trace those and call them. Um, this you can create your marketing campaigns from here. That's a little bit advanced. If you if you want to do like uh, postcards and things like that, it's you could do it right here. It's so simple. Um, your contacts are all kept in one place. Uh, these are the ones we've skipped trace. Uh, all of our contacts are here. So all lists that we pull or whatever are here. Uh, everything is kept in one easy to read location. Prop stream is where it's at. I uh, can't remember the cost per month, but it's not that expensive. Oh, watch this. All right. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it when I'm streaming. Anyway, you can just draw a circle. Uh, so yeah, this is an incredible software. I encourage you to use it. If you have more questions, let me know. We can walk through it. They have great customer support too. Uh, but this is one everyone asks me, where are you pulling your list? Where are you pulling your data? This is it. It's, it's not a big secret. A lot of people use it. Um, but I did just want to let you know and in our REL Live group that it's there. And, you know, more power to you. If you have questions, let me know. If, uh, feel free to put them in the comments. And I'll put the links down in the comments as well. All right. Have a great day.